There's no arguing Governor Fidiel has a long history of doing battle with the federal government on everything from labor and immigration issues to submerged lands. And he may still carry political baggage from the Jack Abramoff days, highlighted by his recent letter to a Texas judge seeking leniency for former House GOP leader Tom DeLay, sentenced this week to three years in a political money scheme. GOP consultant to the islands and a former interior official, Fred Radawagon, was was asked if Benigno Fidial's return to the Republican Party, even with a new GOP House majority, will change the way Fidial is viewed here. Well, that remains to be seen, but at, at least he has an opportunity to go in as a Republican and make his case uh, in private party councils, which is something he could not do as a Covenant Party member. Radawagon sees Fidial as increasingly frustrated that he has no natural alliances in Washington. There are no Covenant people here who are his natural allies. And I think that he sees that uh, the best uh, thing that Northern Marianas can do is to rebuild alliances on the Republican side, since Republicans have regained control of the House. But to make the case for more federal help for the Northern Marianas, Radawagon says the governor will still have to reach across the political aisle to work with Delegate Greg Khalili Camacho Sablon, who caucuses with the Democrats. But the two men continue to have differences, though Radawagon was careful in discussing the issue. Well, I don't have a sense of what their personal relationship is, but they both are elected to represent uh, the Northern Marianas in their capacities, and I think they have to put their... Uh, partisan differences aside and find a way to find common ground for the betterment of the Commonwealth. Radawagon says the best example of delegates and governors working together he's seen has been in Guam, where he claims most of the delegates have had what he terms reasonable relations with governors of the opposite party. But Radawagon says there's an inherent conflict that has less to do with party than the perspective of delegates who, when they come to D.C., see the daily complications of getting things done in Congress and with the White House. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for KSPN Channel 2 News.